When working with JavaScript, we often want to interact with our HTML and grab multiple elements from our page. For example, here we have a pretty typical setup. We have three articles, and each one of these displays an order which we can see inside the browser. So nothing special here, but often we may want to grab all of these elements inside of JavaScript. So to do this, probably the most typical way you would think of to do this is to use a JavaScript method called get elements by class name, since each one of these has the same class name. So we would do this with document dot get elements by class name, pass in our class name, which is order, and then store this inside of a variable or a constant. So orders is equal to our return value. But the key here is what we get back as our return value from this method. What we would typically want to do with something like this is to maybe make use of our orders and use something like a JavaScript array method to loop over each one. Well, there is a slight problem with that, and we'll take a look at why this is. If we do a console log for the value of orders, save and refresh, we see we get back our articles with the class of order, but we see something called a HTML collection. Get elements by class name when selecting matching elements will return back this HTML collection. A HTML collection is an array like generic group of elements but it's not an actual array. This means we cannot use our array methods such as map and for each. To get around this, we can convert a HTML collection to an array using the JavaScript array object. So the way to do this is to use the array object, which has a method called from. So we're going to construct a new array from something else. And that's something else is going to be our orders. This from method can create a new array from any array-like object, which includes our HTML collection, or any other iterable object, which simply means an object which we can loop over. We can then store this inside of a constant called new array, and set this equal to the return value. Now the benefits of converting this to be an actual array is we can now make use of things like JavaScript array methods. And a popular array method is for each. So we can select our constant dot for each. And for each takes in a function which will run for each value inside of the array. Each value inside of the array is stored inside of a variable. And we'll give this name of elements. Grab our console log, place this inside of our function, and we can output the value of elements. Refresh. And this is all now working fine. You can also make use of any other JavaScript array method. And just to prove this wouldn't work before, we'll swap new array with the original HTML collection, which we stored inside of orders. Refresh, and we see orders.foreach is not a function. And this is because we could not use the JavaScript array method called for each on our HTML collection. So let's reinstate this. And this is how we can convert a HTML collection to be a JavaScript array.